Hey guys, it's Emma. So today I'm going to be doing CD Collection Part 5 because I'm unmotivated and I haven't filmed a video in like two weeks. Well, I have filmed. I just haven't edited and uploaded because they all sucked. So we're going to try to film a video that I can actually put on YouTube today and we're going to see how this goes. I remember why I stopped filming in my room, like, this lighting sucks so bad. I have, like, my iPod flashlight, like, flashing its light on me right now. But anyways, we're gonna get started with CD Collection 5. So, the first CD that I have for you is Orianthes Believe, because back when I was, like, in fourth-ish grade, I was so set on being, like, Orianthe when I grew up, I was like, Orianthi's so cool. She plays guitar and she's like the best guitar player ever. Obviously, she's not like the best guitar player ever, but in my eyes, fourth grade Emma loved Orianthi because she was a girl and she played guitar really well. And I can still kind of jam to this. It's a good thing. It's a good CD. So, yeah. And now we have Panic at the Discos, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. I also really like this album. Like, this is such a typical album that I feel like everyone has. And it's, like, good and stuff. There's not really much else to say. I really like the song, um, I Constantly... No, no, no. That's not my favorite song on the album. Build God Then We'll Talk is my favorite, favorite song on the album. That's my favorite. The next album I have is Riot by Paramore. And I think this album is decent and I like it and my favorite on this is probably Fences or Born for This those are my favorite no or Let the Flames Begin I really like all the songs on this actually but like it's it's not my favorite album but I do really enjoy all of these songs they're good and it's really old Paramore before Paramore turned pop Paramore okay so I just received a text from my friend saying to shout out the band Forfeit the Throne for the, like, fourth time because they're playing a show with a Skylet Drive and Red Jumpsuit Apparatus on April 11th at Simon's 677 in Providence, Rhode Island, and it's gonna be a real fun time. Uh, tickets are $12. You can, like, hit up Forfeit the Throne's Facebook page. I'll have that linked in the down bar if you're interested. I think that's all the information. If you have any questions, you can either like ask Forfeit the Thrones Facebook page or like put it in the comments because I can probably answer it. So yeah, if you're interested in coming to that show, like definitely, definitely do because it's only $12 and you'd get to see a Skylet Drive and Red Jumpsuit Apparatus play and Forfeit the Throne and a bunch of other really cool local bands. Like it's gonna be a good show, everyone. Come to it. and. Moving on, the next CD I have is P Brand New Eyes by Paramore, and this is probably my favorite Paramore album. It's really good. This is where they gained the most, like, notoriety, I think. Paramore's not my favorite band. I'm not really that huge into them, but it's a good album. And I also have the Now Single CD, and this there's, like, literally one song on this CD, I think. Like, I'm pretty sure Now is it. There's not really much to say. And then we have the Paramore self-titled, and this is also, I actually, like, I don't know. I got this, like, two years ago for Christmas or whenever it came out, but, like, I actually haven't listened to it that much since I got it. I probably should. I like the song, One of Those Crazy Girls. I like that song a lot. And the next one I have is Par Paramore, no. Pentatonix, That's Christmas to Me, and this album's decent. It's Christmas music. I'm not really a fan of Christmas music, but Pentatonix makes Christmas music a jam. And then I have, like, this weird freaking PETA thing. I don't know. I probably got it at, like, Warped Tour last year or something. And then I have A Flare for the Dramatic by Pierce the Veil, and as much as I love Pierce the Veil, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this album. Like, there's a few good songs on it. I like Drella, but... Other than that, I'm not really, like, that big a fan of this album, if we're being real, because, you know, we're friends and we be real here. We be real. That's not even proper grammar. So the next CD is A, S a Selfish Machines. Wow, I actually can't speak today. Um, Selfish Machines, 
also by Pierce the Veil. My favorite song on here is probably Bessie Toast or The Sky Under the Sea because The Sky Under the Sea makes me think of my friend Skylar and she's an actual queen so she's it's like a good song and it makes me think of her. And then we have Collide with the Sky by Pierce the Veil because like how could one not have this album? It's perfect. Like Pierce the Veil's great. I feel like their album is just like a flair for the dramatic, selfish machines, collide with the sky. And like you can't even see the level that it's on, that's how high it is. Like, And I have Chaotic Resolve by Plum, and Plum's like not well known at all, but I actually love her music. She's so good, and her, her music's like religious rock, I guess you could say, but it's not like, oh god, oh Jesus. It's like, it's like almost the same level of religious as Flyleaf for a like comparison. We have Punk Goes Pop 4, and this was a decent one, not my favorite. Punk Goes Pop 5 is my favorite because it has like all of my favorite bands on it. And yeah, speaking of this album, A Skylet Drive's on it, and you should go see A Skylet Drive play. Just another little like, go see them. I also have like the fifth one and my dad has it right now. I think he's like, listening to it in his car. I don't have it. I'm pretty sure he does. And the last album I have is Paris's White Noise and I freaking love Paris more than myself and anything else in the world and I... Uh, Paris is just great and stay tuned because tomorrow, if this video goes up the day I think it's going to, tomorrow they're going to be releasing their music video for the song White Noise. It's like the title track. It's gonna be hella exciting, so be ready for that because I'm sure it's gonna be great because Paris is great. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks to my friends for like telling me to film videos and like get off my lazy bum and stop being unmotivated. So yeah, much appreciation. Um, weird vibes in this video, I know, right? But like, it's all right. We're gonna get back into this filming thingy majigger like soon. We're gonna we're gonna get back into it. We're gonna be not awkward, and we're gonna do the thing, and it's gonna be real good soon. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but like finger guns. So I'll talk to you later because this outro is like hella weird right now. All right, bye. Yeah.